Okay, the other scenario where you're examining the neck um, in headache is in the situation of an acute headache. And this is how you check for uh, meningism. But actually we'll start with how you don't check for meningism. So the classic scenario is the A&E trolley or the medical admission unit bed. And here's Lee with his thunderclap headache or new onset severe headache. And we think we must check for neck meningism. So he's lying in bed last week. I'm just going to check your neck. And we do this sort of thing and we get a few degrees of movement, there's no neck stiffness. That is not how you want to check for neck stiffness. What you want to do, even though the patient might be in a bit of discomfort, say, sit up for a second for me, please. You want to remove the pillows, and you want to get in bed lying completely flat. So just get yourself lying flat now there, please. Now you've got a much wider range of movement to check for neck stiffness. To get your confidence of your patient, just put your hands either side of the occiput, just a bit of gentle rotation, just to get a bit of confidence, and then just slowly lift the head up. Now we've got a much wider range of movement in which to detect neck stiffness, so you're much more likely to get it. So if you just, just, just roll that there, we lift the head, and there's no resistance to movement. If you've got meningism, you'll feel a resistance to movement just when you lift the head. And then meningism will also be occurring in the context of an appropriate headache history.